Here we are. Liberty Landing Tuesday. We've got light winds. Tuco's in the shade giving us a thumbs up. And now we got winds coming from over this way. But over here. They were blowing. When I started my range test, they were blowing from that way. So what does that tell you? It tells you I don't care. Uh, up we got the... Uh, Oh, we have the decathlon. It's not a super decathlon. It's just a decathlon. It's the RJG decathlon. And uh, fine for us. CG feels fine. Uh, that always helps. No, I didn't try the throttle. Right, left, up, down, up, right, left, throttle. All right, well, uh, my flight plan for this is just to, just to fly around, uh, keep it in, keep it out of the sun over this way, and just do a few, uh, fly it around, check it out, do some mates, do some maneuvers, and uh, have a good time. So let's go flying. I got awful high rates. I got 80% rates, which may be exceeding my skill. Slow her down. She's fast on 4S. That sticks off. It's just a... There we go. It just went down just a little bit. A few clicks. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Maybe. There we go. Time remaining, four minutes. I'm going the wrong way. That's what I'm doing. I'm going the wrong way on the turn button. Oh, what a dummy. I had it so close. There we go. There we go. Jeez. There we go. Just trying to get it perfect. I had a close. I had to mechanically adjust my elevator quite a bit out of the box. Time remaining, three minutes. It's not a very big plane. Get out of the sun. It's got some mass to it. Definitely has some mass. Time to stop. Time to start. Yeah, she's she's kind of a heavy. For heavy wing loading, but that's okay. The mass is good when you're doing stunts. This is the 4S 2200. Time to stop. And the wind's making my eyes water. Pretty good maiden. I mean, I'm just flying it around. It took a while to get it trimmed in because I went the wrong way. If I had to pick a plane that it felt like flying, I'd say like the Timber X, that something that's a little heavier. A little 
heavier on. But it's got mass. That's and the mass is good for doing stunts and stuff. Wow, that's nice. Time to stop. Time to stop. That was nice. Time to stop. Again, I noticed it came down a little quicker than I anticipated, and that's just because of the mass. So we'll try that again. We won't go so far down, so we don't. It seems like the longer you take to come around, the more chances you get to mess up. Time to stop. There. I was late on the rudder. Let it go by. Yeah. There I flared a little bit. Time to stop. Well, you didn't need to. Takes off nice into the wind. I like the landing gear. The landing gear have a little bit of suspension in it and the tires are soft. I did a 360 range check, walked around. There we go. That was nice, about the right speed. Not too fast, not too slow. I'd say it's an honest flyer. I'd say it's an honest flyer. You aim it, it goes. You give it inputs on the sticks, and you get stuff out of the plane. I like it. Again, this is the first flight, but a little bit of a breeze. I know what I want to try. Alright, so we got it safe. Big safe turn. <laughs> yeah, I put safe on a switch. Well, in case I want to let somebody fly it. Let a new flyer fly it. I can. I can put it in safe. I don't know if I'd let them fly it though, because this this is a lot more, a lot more responsive than the Carbon Cove, the e flight silver and yellow Carbon Cove. I should have enough battery. I haven't been going anywhere near full speed. Even though my five minute timer has expired. I've been watching Brian Phillips videos. No, I'm joking. No, I have been watching his videos. But I'm not like Brian Phillips. I pay hard money. There's my battery warming. Oh, the warning. Yeah, a little fast. Handles our rough ground well. So it's handling all that well. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have shown for battery. Let me get my get my hat off here. There's what it's showing for battery. So that's pretty good, man. That's not bad. Let's see if I'm going to show it this way. There you go. That's what I'm seeing. Motor on. Motor off. But there it is, man. I, I think it I think it went well. I had fun flying it. It looks good. It looks great. Flies nice. I mean, you know, I can't. That was just one flight, but I'm going to like it. Pop the battery. There's where let me get that out of here. There's where I put my 
4,200 right there. Shoot, let me get out the sign. There's where I put my 4,200. See it? And CG wise, it felt good. It didn't feel, it didn't feel nose heavy. It didn't feel tail heavy. I was going to bring it over here and put it up up against Bigfoot. It feels a little heavier than Bigfoot, but I don't know if that's just me or what. But there's the there's the two planes. There's Bigfoot. So it's smaller than Bigfoot. But Bigfoot is is up close to 1400 wingspan where this is just like 12 1212 or something like that. But there you have them, man. I enjoyed flying it. I really did. It looks good. Uh, the build. Um, let me put this over here. The build, it went. No surprises. Uh, the two long, the two screws that hold the vertical on and that holds the horizontal on. It was a little tricky. It was a little tricky getting them inside the holes. You know, getting them to go inside the plastic on the from the rudder that it plugs into. But it wasn't impossible to do or anything. And uh, I like how these went on. They just slide right through the holes. I just kind of, um, there it's got um, tape over the holes. Just cut the tape on the holes and it slid right in. Uh, yeah, it's a good looking plane. Flies nice. Hopefully it'll be the beginning of a long friendship. I like the size. It's not too big. I'm sure I could put that in the car if I wanted to. Oh, well, there it goes, man. That's the maiden of the RJG E-Flight Decathlon. The lights look amazing. No problems, no issues. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing and become part of Team Let's Go Flying. RJG Decathlon in the sun. Tuco in the shade. Jeff in the sun. We're at Liberty Landing having fun. We had winds blowing. They're probably blowing, I don't know, maybe eight during that flight. And they kind of came from over here. They're kind of coming from this direction. And I'm pointing the camera right now. But, yeah, it is what it is. It flies nice. I can't wait. I'm going to get them some more. I'm going to fly it one more time. On, I'm going to fly it on a three cell and then fly it again on a four cell and probably again on a three cell. I was going to fly Bigfoot, but I'm missing screws that hold my landing gear on. I just noticed that. I got to watch this stand in the wind. All right, man. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing and become part of Team Let's Go Flying. Woo, 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 woo.